Welcome back. This is a brand new introduction to anonymity bonus section that we just added to the course. This was heavily requested by a lot of students and in here we're going to introduce ourselves to the basic steps used to anonymize ourselves on the internet. Now, since this is an ethical hacking course and our focus is on using different tools and learning the process of penetration test, in that sense, we're not going to be only covering this section as a standalone one, but actually we will try to tie it to the course in certain videos. How are we going to do that? Well, we're going to take a look at anonymity for both personal use in case you just want to be more private when browsing the internet or doing your usual daily tasks. But we're also going to take a look at anonymity while hacking or while performing penetration tests. This will mostly focus on using different tools with VPN or using them through a proxy in order to hide ourselves better during our attacks. Usually, Many tools have proxy option that allows our, for example, scans to go through a third party before reaching the target, making the target essentially not know where the scans or attacks are coming from. Why is this required? Well, some clients might ask you to perform the penetration test anonymously. Maybe they want to see if they will be able to trace you back during your penetration tests. On the other hand, if you just want to anonymize yourself for private reasons due to, for example, not wanting to be tracked by a certain website, certain company, or certain malicious people, we will cover that as well. For example, did you know that using a browser like Google Chrome provides almost no privacy or anonymity at all? Certain browsers and programs collect your data in order to better show you ads, or that is at least what they say the reason is. We will show some alternative browsers that we can use to increase our privacy and anonymity. Besides that, on our hacking site, as we already mentioned, it will help us make us more anonymous during our penetration tests. For example, this is what a normal scan that we did in the scanning section looks like. Our IP address is, for example, 111.22.33 and .44, and we are directly scanning the target. The target would then know where these scans are coming from. But if we, for example, use something like a proxy, then our scans are not directly going to the target. Therefore, the target itself will think that our scans are coming from a different IP address, which will be an IP of our proxy or of our middle source. This principle is rather the same for personal use. It's just that in personal use, we're not performing scans, but we are rather doing something like visiting a website. We don't want to do it directly, but rather with the help of something like a VPN or proxy as well. So the endpoint website really doesn't know where we are connecting from. In that sense, we acquired anonymity. And to do all of this for both personal and hacking use, we're going to cover three main things. These things are VPNs, Tor browser, and proxies. You probably already heard of all three of them, but if you didn't, don't worry. We will be devoting a lecture to each one of them to see how we can use it and why does it help us in privacy and anonymity. Let's start first of all with Tor browser in the next lecture.